Hello everybody, welcome back to the Super Shotgun Owner Challenge. Last time we left off, we had Izzy running the lead. So I think it's finally time for Pinstripe to take it, to take his own in the final levels here. Because this is probably, well, I ain't gonna pop it, this will be the final part. Because we got Hamburger Hill. And if you remember, if you know Hamburger Hill, there's a lot of enemies. But, you know, despite what we all thought in our childhood, there's only seven enemies, not eight. Yeah, I, I honestly, I always thought there was eight enemies as well. And then you really looked at it and it's like, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, seven, what? Yep, seven. But, we're not going to attack him immediately. Why? Because we want to grab this off with this guy. Now, in practice, I was able to get a swap bonus on this mission. But, we'll see what happens this time. And yes, that's the biggest health kit in the game at 200. I know. I don't even think in multiplayer there's a 200 health kit, which is good. But gosh. That's a lot of bloody health. And now we're going to keep running straight ahead and shotgunning. And we can get them out of the map, but we have to get them to the right position. We have to push them first. Yeah, and we only have 15 seconds per turn, so we have to go quick. Oh, and he slid out of position. You jerk. And yeah, most time the bees and pistols, so we might, like, we'll have a close call if they keep attacking the same pig over and over, which they annoying enough do quite often. Yeah, you have to be quick on this mission. I shot a little higher, but it should still be good. Yeah. Oh, but he also slid out position. You want him right against that back wall there. But as, but as usual, the fall damage really helps. Yeah, Shoddy will be taking quite a lot of the damage. Because they just don't like him. And we don't have enough time to get Quibi any closer than Charlie. He can get the furthest out of anyone. Okay, again, shot a little off of the side. Should still move him, though. But they keep sliding away. When I did this in practice, they stuck to the wall. But, oh, well. But maybe we got that fella in close enough that... Yeah, there we go. Take some damage off a shot of here. Although you want to keep your pigs as close as you can to the enemy because they will use their mortars if you get too far away. And we're gonna grab the whole kit there because we're gonna have Izzy and Pinchback be the bullet shields. Pretty much for the whole mission. That should hit someone. Maybe we hit a quote on that one. Yeah, sometimes you have to take a blind shot with that final guy. He didn't even have to move. Talk about efficiency. <laughs> Alright. Now we'll get Pinstripe over here because he has the health to deal off everything. Because there's a nice little walk on right there. And I messed that up, so we're going to be close on time here. Okay, we're pushing him the long way, but we just need to get the damage on people. Now that we're close enough, we can start taking shots to line up everyone against the wall. And we don't want to go do it against that wall, because they'll get stuck. They will just indeed get just stuck. That yeah, then stripe should be the board shield now. Alright, of course we're gonna move Shoddy in a bit closer, but we're gonna try and keep these guys back for a little bit. Ah, oh, I tried to shoot him over then. Oh well. 
because these two are taking some damage. And it's typically the first two that you get over here that are really going to be hurting. Like I said, I hope we don't have to get a... Hope we get a survivor bonus, but if we don't... Oh well. And we can't push him out of the map quite yet, but this will hopefully get him to land on the wall and just walk back in. Just like that. Because now we can shoot him out easily. These other guys not so sure about. Well, that's been inconvenient. Alright, let's shoot you back. Try and get him stuck on the wall or something. Oh yeah, that'll work. Except he's doing right there. That's weird. Ooh, he might shoot his own guy. Please do. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we killed that next shot. Alright, we'll get Izzy up in here. Up here with these guys. Because Izzy has quite a bit of health as well. Oh, I forgot. Nah. One health. Maybe the game will finish him. Nope. Oh well. Dan's not really worried now. Ouch. I always forget about the flame bones. I always do. What? Really, boy, this game, I mean, this love is all about getting them all up that hill and doing damage. And hopefully by sticking pinstripe here, we can force them to all attack him. And maybe we can get this guy out. Just, just barely. And I'm not purposely avoiding, no, I kind of am purposely avoiding the metals there, but, oh well. Alright, attack the healthier one. That might hurt both of you. Alright, don't hurt it. Don't hit and pass it too many times. Okay. Alright, you don't want to bundle them all up, though. Alright, let's try to shoot both of you. Get them both pushed over. You don't want to bundle up all your pigs in one spot because if you do, they'll get stuck. And a mortar shot will hurt. Which is why I put pinch right there so they won't mortar. Hopefully. But we'll see. Alright, we'll keep Izzy there. And we'll go ahead and take out another pig here, hopefully. I know in past it's getting low, but hopefully they'll be distracted with pinch time. And there goes him. And then hopefully a pinch drive is close enough for him to be distracted. Yeah. Flamethrower though. This guy's really addicted to that flamethrower. Oh, we really went that far. Jerk move, Gabe. Jerk move. Alright, Jaded. Yep, yeah, it's gonna be a close call on you. So let's actually go up and take care of this guy. I didn't forget about you. So hopefully they won't aim for Shaded because he's off to the side. But we'll find out. He can take one bullet and that, that's it. So if they do aim at him, maybe. I don't know, they're distracted by him. And him. Which isn't great, but he does have more help. So hopefully we can get Izzy out of that corner. Yeah, there we go. And then put Izzy back over here. Hopefully we can still get him out and distract the other guy at the same time. There we go. Only three left. So we do have this fella. Stop using flame doors, please. I know it's pinstripe, but still. Flame bows can cause a lot of damage if they're before I'm lucky. Let's see. 
We want to try and hit him because he has one health. But we want to keep distracting this guy with Finch type. There we go. Man and pass with them, do some more. No, is he? Nice. He should be out of flying balls now. That should be all believe is. It's kind of weird to say, but yeah, he's used all believe is. I didn't think that activate. Maybe we can get him out, but we hopefully we can move him. Not out, but maybe the game will kill them. No, the game never kills them for me. <laughs> and pinch drive still doing nice when he has a punching bag there. Just avoiding the extra damage again. I don't mean to do this. Let's get this guy up and out. And even if we don't, we'll die. And then we'll move the other guy over here. And I believe the other fellow is Palm Zombie. Because he should still be distracted with Finch Drive. Who is starting to get low on health? It's Posey, okay. Yeah, he's back there. Why do I help now? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get shaded out here because he only has 30 health. I don't know risk losing him at this point. So I'm gonna let him and hide behind tree. And then we'll use pinch back to shoot him close to the other guys. Okay, maybe not. Well, there's three of us over here, so we should be able to at least... Should still be distracted once it gets over there. Ah, sliding down the hill. So we gotta do two more shots on him, but he'll die in two shots no matter what. And how much of a shot do you have now? Okay, he still has one in the past there. But let's go ahead and move him. Try and get him up there next to him faster. So I'm gonna try and shoot him at a bit of a weird angle, or I'm just gonna try and shoot him straight over their heads. Yeah, that worked. Now in pass the convention. Or whoever's next, whatever. And then we gotta go to the final island. Okay, yeah, it's gonna hurt, but no one's gonna die. Thankfully, we were able to minimize the amount of mortars we took. I think we only actually got one fired at us, which was on pinch drive at the very beginning. Alright, no matter what, this will kill him. So, don't matter if he goes up and out, we just have to hit him, maybe. There we go. Up and out, anyways. There we go. And one more level to go. We have to take the Iowa Swill. And I think I actually got, because I took those four medals, I think I actually ended the game with 250 medals. <laughs> and we've, we've all seen this cutscene. So I'm going to skip that. I think I showed like one in this playthrough. I don't know why I did. I think I did an entire bonus episode just for the cutscenes. Can't remember quite. Yeah, there we go, 250. And we're gonna go ahead and skip the captain's speech. Because we don't need motivation, we need more shotgun. But, also in this final level, on this, I was also able to get the survival bonus. So. So in practice, I actually got every survival bonus. In this, I have not, because I think in past I died. I think it was. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Well. The final level of the game. And we're not gonna bottle with the pill boxes, no point. We're gonna try and position ourselves to distract the legends when they spawn, though. Although I can never actually quite nail it where they land. And because we can't, though, we're gonna check this at it. A little high. And there's no way to avoid Izzy taking damage. Which sucks, but no one. And then we're gonna again grab the health and try and predict where the legend will land over here. We don't necessarily need the health, but it's nice to have. But we're not gonna throw a trap or grenade from here. There they are, the big boys themselves. And here's a pillbox. Gonna miss, hopefully. We'll see. Yeah, I slipped between that with once. Alright, we're gonna grab the health kit and then we'll do that. Because surprisingly enough, a lot of the legends spawn in actually a spot where you can shoot straight up and out, right from where they spawn. So if you don't have spies or anything to try and take the uh, the uh, shockwave, this works just as well. Watch. Yep, you can do that with almost every single legend, except for the one that spawns on the hill in the middle there. And because we didn't use an airstrike, they're not gonna use theirs anyway, which is nice. But he will use it, I think. Alright, but thankfully he doesn't blow us out of the map most of the time. Yeah. And we got a nice little slide back now. So we're gonna grab this health kit that we cover from what from that explosion. I always love how it shows like the bar of like who's winning the fight in this one and it when you're doing Team Lord versus Marty Pigs, it's always just like, okay, who's winning? Who knows? And we should be able to take out St. Nick. Out oh, there, I guess. There's two legends down. And that's only our fourth time. And the reason we want our pigs to distract them is so they don't move out of range of the out of bounds. Because they will, as you saw there, run around. And Izzy can't do much, but our goal with Izzy is to knock down this fella. Because he can't reach him. From where he is. He's the only legend we can't kill in one turn. We can get him close, obviously, but not close enough to die. But he did slide all the way back down, so maybe we won't be able to do it in two turns. And we'll just act him with him. Oh, we must have got the, we must have got a perfect of finish right there because he lost one health from him spawning in. <laughs> nice. But speaking of bench type, it's time for him to exact his revenge. And I always do that. I always pull it out immediately. But then it's like, okay, which side was it that they need to be shot out of? I believe it was this side for the Russian. Because we did push him that little bit when he spawned in. Alright, that should be good. That's three. Two legends left. Alright, he might use an airstrike. Just because he's a bit of a dick. Now he's going to use a cluster grenade. That's still not good for us. Don't go in the water. Nice. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna be the one to push me in the water, isn't it? No, okay. But we should be able to take him out because he goes over 
Alright, no. Side, you go, good side. You went this way last night. Oh, we did. I think we pushed him over here. So, either way, we gotta shoot him over here. No, I have to I'm in, aiming in this time. And I'm paying attention to the angle meter there because. I notice that when you get too high, obviously, I'm shooting over them. But I think I found the sweet spot where I can hit them on flat ground every time and launch them out. Well, there's only one legend left now. And then that's it. Because this guy's not that hard to kill. <laughs> Although, it'd be really fitting if we could have Izzy take care of Izzy, but... We'll just have to see how that rolls out. Because Tapazuki's not going to play nice because he ran away from the wall. So I don't know if we can get him out this turn or not. We'll see. Thankfully, though, we have 30 seconds instead of 15. I really hate Mission 24 because of the 15 second limit. Like, you can't move anywhere fast enough to do anything. So let's go a little bit above the limit because he's higher up than I am. So hopefully we can knock him straight up and out. I don't think so, though. Yeah, no, he went too far away from the edge. And he slid all the way back down. Dang, damn it. Yeah, we might lose one this time because Tapazuki's just being a dick. And whoever that, that's Pinstripe going in the water, right? No one passing him faster. Well, hopefully he don't go in the water, but judging from that angle, he got lucky. So now let's go try again. Because that's all we'll boil down to now is trying to kill him. Because Izzy is not much. Boy, some and all. And he's not much higher up than I am, so maybe just go a tiny bit above the limit. And see if we get him that time. Hey! Alright, Izzy's all that stands between us and a victory. Don't kill Izzy. Oh, if we lose Izzy now, that'll be a joke move. Go on the walk. Don't go on the walk. Okay. Izzy got lucky. But we're probably not going to be able to win it with Izzy now. Because we're not going to even get there in time. Hmm. I don't even think we can get up the hill to get in the pillbox. I know it's not gonna kill her, but we got her off there. I was hoping to get on the pillbox and shoot off, shoot off, but we didn't have enough time. And I didn't want Izzy to die, so hopefully we pushed him away. No, unless he's gonna hit the full box. Hopefully it's the full box. Yeah, hey, that works. Although we can't really push him in the water because, well, his just skin went across. <laughs> it's really hard to get enemies in the water on this map because super shotgun <laughs> doesn't work that great. Maybe we can get you up and out from here. I doubt it, though. Oh, wait. No. Okay. And there we go. Survival bonus on the final mission with only engineers and only a super shotgun. I am happy about that. And now we got some hard mode challenges. And I'm skipping the cutscenes because I there's no point in watching them. But now I already have a couple ideas for hard mode, but if you have any more, go ahead and let me know. Tell me in the comments what do you want me to try and complete the hard mode with. And 
yeah, I don't know if it does this in the original PS1 version, but despite beating the game, we're still called Team Lord. But I'll show you what happens. I'll show you a crash on this, unless I can force it to go, which is spamming the middle button sometimes. <laughs> but everything's purple. But you know, purple can't fight purple. Let's see. And that's what a game crash looks like on the PS3. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a good day. And I'll see you later. Bye bye.